Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Maggie in Data, where I share content around data science, coding, and all things working in tech related. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Stanford AI Certificate Graduate Program. But before we hit the content, I want to talk to you a little bit more about me, why I personally applied for the program, and why I think it's a good fit for me. So I've been working as a data scientist now around a year. Um, I'm at that stage in my career where I know I want to specialize in deep learning moving forward but I'm not actively exercising that uh, in my nine to five job. And coming from undergraduate background, I know I'm lacking some formal training on machine learning just in general. And so this program will provide lots of opportunity for hands-on AI projects and it will solidify my knowledge in machine learning. Also, I get to network with the best and brightest people in AI and networking is probably the thing I missed most about school. And don't worry, I'll go into great details in this video with regards to what this program is, what is a typical time commitment, who is this program ideally for, the cost, application process, as well as alternative ways that you can learn the same material from different sources. And without further ado, let's get started. The Stanford Artificial Intelligence Graduate Program, also known as their AI Graduate Certificate, is a program provided by Stanford that provides a rigorous introduction to machine learning as well as opportunities to dive into theoretical and hands-on learning. Essentially, you take four graduate level computer science courses. All can be taken online within anywhere in the world. Um, each course lasts a quarter long, which is about 12 weeks. Your time commitment for each course is between 15 and 20 hours between homework assignments and lectures. The program takes a year to finish if you take one class for every quarter, including summer month, but you have up to three years to complete this program if you have a hectic schedule or if something comes up. Courses in this program are taught by prominent Stanford faculty members. Some of them you probably have heard of, such as Andrew On, Christopher Manning, Chelsea Finn, and Percy Liang. At the end of the completion of your program, you get a GPA and grades for all of those courses that you've taken, as well as a certificate. One thing to know that this certificate program is different than their AI professional program. The professional program consists of different courses, all are still adapted from lectures and materials delivered in on-campus Stanford graduate courses, but you don't get a grade and it is way cheaper tuition-wise. I personally don't see the appeal of the professional program since there are just so many resources and certificates out there that offer equivalent value with a less hefty price tag. And I think the certificate program is a different story because if you do decide to go to graduate school later on, your grades from Stanford's computer science graduate level courses will give you a significant advantage, especially if you didn't have very good grades in your undergrad and you can shorten your master's duration because of the transfer credits. And even if you don't decide to go to master's later on, you still get to network and make connections with professors and peers and TAs. But more on whether this program is right for you later. So let's talk about the four courses you need to take for this certificate program. Here we are at AI Graduate Program official page from Stanford, which I'll link in the description box below. So out of the four courses that you have to take, you only have to take one required between those two, CS221 and CS229. It's recommended that most people take 221 just because 229 is known for being really, really difficult. And you have to have a really solid foundation in math, linear algebra, and calculus. And out of this list, you have to pick out three electives to fulfill the rest of the course requirement. For example, I'm interested in deep learning. There are more than three courses that I really want to take. Um, CS224, Natural Language Processing with Deep Learning. There's Computer Vision. Deep Learning for Computer Vision and the application of deep learning in autonomous driving. If you can easily pick out more than three electives from this list, then that's definitely a good sign that this program could be the right one for you. In terms of the application process, it's actually very simple and a lot less competitive than their graduate admission. You apply as a non-degree student taking classes. First, you need to make an account at mystanfordconnection.stanford.edu. Under application, you need to select AP0007, non-degree option application. The application takes about 15 to 20 minutes to complete. There are seven sections, statement of purpose, personal information, professional experience, education background, exam monitors, graduate certificates, where you select which graduate certificate stream you're interested in, and document upload where you would need to upload your official transcript from all previous education institutions. The most time consuming part is the statement of purpose. 
The rest are really easy. So here's what you need to write for the statement of purpose. So the prompt is as follow. Describe your education and or professional reasons for applying to take courses and a non-degree option. Please also list the specific courses on your transcript which meet the course slash certificate prerequisites for which you are applying. Where academic coursework is lacking, please identify relevant aspect of your work experience that do the same. So that is pretty much it. You don't have to write anything fancy. Just explain why you think you're a good fit and why you want to apply to this program. And the word requirement is a minimum of 200 words and a maximum of 4,000 characters. Once it is submitted, then you proceed to enroll in the course that you'd like to take for the following semester. You actually pay for the course first. And then the application package will be sent to the appropriate department. In this case, it's their computer science school of engineering department for approval. If your application for some reason gets declined, then you get your full refund on the course that you paid for. Now that we've covered the basis of what this program is, let's talk about whether this is the right program for you. If you go to the official program website, you notice that the officially the program is best suited for one, people who are currently working as software engineers, data and research scientists interested in learning more about what is possible with artificial intelligence, and two, AI professionals looking for hands-on experience with Stanford faculty and industry experts. From a description of that paragraph, this program should definitely not be the one for you if you are new to data science or if you have no prior programming experience. Since you'll be taking graduate level computer science courses, it is assumed that you have the required prerequisites such as college linear algebra, calculus, and programming courses. Now, if you are new to data science, there are many other sources or certificates that you can look at that can help you get your foot in the door before learning advanced machine learning or AI knowledge at a grad school level, such as the data analytics program provided by IBM or Google that's available for you on Coursera. With that being said, I think there are generally a few scenarios where this could be the right program for you. One, if you want to go to grad school in computer science, which is usually quite competitive, good grades in all of these courses can give you a latch um, for your next application. Two, if you know you're interested in deep learning or a topic that you know will be covered in this program. Three, you're a lifelong learner, but you need a bit more accountability uh, for learning. Four, if you like the prestige of the school or prestige of the faculty and want to be among the brightest and best people in AI. But this is not really a recommended reason to go because it is a lot of hard work and there will be a lot of times where you question why you're doing this um, and that won't be the reason that will push you through. Overall, I would not recommend this program if you don't know what you want to specialize yet in data science or if you are new to this field. But if you're at the stage where you want to learn more about machine learning and AI in a rigorous environment and want to network with people and professors and peers in the industry, then this program could be that ledge you're looking for. Okay, let's talk about cost and it is not cheap. So tuition for each course is fourteen hundred U.S. dollars for each credit, and in general, all the courses in this program are between three to four credits, which means you're looking at between forty-two hundred and fifty-six hundred U.S. dollars per course. And with four courses, that is between sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars and twenty-two thousand and four hundred dollars <gasps> for the entire program. The good news is if you're already working in the industry, a lot of employers offer tuition assistant program of some sort. Essentially, you get a yearly allowance for how much money you can expense for learning opportunities, which should include programs like this. In that case, you can ask your employers to cover it. And if they don't have enough tuition assistance, then you can spread out your courses so that each year will be covered. Now, if this is not a price tag you want to look at, or if your employers don't offer tuition assistant programs, there are a lot of other ways that you can learn the same knowledge through different channels. Actually, the majority of the courses listed in this program are available on YouTube or their official course website for $0. You get the same recorded lecture video and you get the same homework assignment just without the support from TA, from professors, and without the group project with your peers. It will take a lot of determination to go the self-study route, but I know a lot of people who've done it and the material is completely free if you're just interested in the knowledge. This is the end of the video guys and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that you absolutely don't need to spend any money to learn data science, to break into data science, or to get better in data science. There are many free resources out there such as YouTube channels, PDF books made freely available by professors, blog posts on mediums, free courses, or content creators on Instagram or LinkedIn. Happy coding and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.